Hey, hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to write a Marie program to divide two number, and the output could be the quotation and so the remainder. Okay. Um, the algorithm is pretty straightforward. So um, the first step we're going to take the first input, we call dividend, and start to the variable uh, location x. Um, we're gonna take another one uh, and that will call a d divisor uh, and that gonna be stored to the a variable y. Okay. We also have a extra um, variable we call zero, so that's a, that's a constant zero. Um, that's what we can use uh, throughout the uh, program. So first of all, we have the variable q. That's the quotation, and we load or we assign the value of 0 to quotation. So at the beginning, quotation have the value of 0. <coughs> so the algorithm going to be, first of all, we're going to load the uh, dividend h, and then we're going to uh, to the to the accumulator, and then we subtract the value of y. Um, so if the um, Subtraction of the result gonna be less than zero, so we use the skip con. Uh, this is a skip condition uh, zero zero zero. So it means we compare the value of the accumulator with the value of zero. If the result is a negative, uh, we go to the end. So it means the dividend uh, smaller than the divisor. So we gonna end up the loop, right? So that means we skip this one and we jump into the uh, next one. This means uh, jump into the display. So the display pretty much like uh, load the quotation and then uh, we, we output it. And so we load the uh, current value of the h. And that's actually the when h is smaller than y. So that's going to be the remainder. So we store into the remainder variables and we load it and we output. Okay. However, if the accumulator is the uh, uh, or the, the subtraction is the not uh, negative, so it means h greater than y, we're gonna jump into add one. So add one technically right here. So uh, first of all, we need to store the current value of the uh, variable h after we subtract y, right? So we store the accumulator value to the variable h and then we load the value of our q and then we add one to it this one is mean because we subtract uh, y from h right here and the value is greater than zero so it means we have one additional value of the quotation so that's why we load q and we add one to it and then we need to store the q value uh, into the variable q and after that we jump back into the loop right here so we do the same again until we have the uh, subtraction of i uh, and y less than zero so it means the 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 current value of the h is the less than y and then we go into the display right some of the uh, initialization uh, is initial uh, initialization right here at the beginning h is a value of zero y value of zero q value of zero and remainder value of zero and zero right here, that's a constant variable value of uh, zero. And one right here, another constant with value of one. Um, so I think I think that that the that the way we uh, write. So let let um, let try to uh, assemble it. So you have no error. You can see that it's successfully, and we run. So remember, we can change the value right here. We're gonna take uh, seven as the dividend. And next one we're gonna take a let's say three as the divisor step. So right here you see the quotation gonna be two and the remainder is one. Uh, we start again, let's say six as the dividend and three as a divisor. And we have a two and zero right here. That's the quotation and remainder. So um it's working correctly, um, and that's pretty much uh, very simple, right? Um, if you have any question, um, just just let me know. Uh, th thanks a lot for watching.